What we want to do in this section is look at arithmetic with positive and negative numbers. Here's our first example. How about negative 7 subtract 3? Now, even if you don't think in terms of addition, I mean, even if you don't write this in terms of addition, you want to think in terms of addition. This problem is really negative 7 plus negative 3. Subtraction is addition of the opposite. Now, negative 7 plus negative 3 is negative 10. So when I do subtraction myself, I always think in terms of addition. When I see this problem, I think to myself, negative 7 plus negative 3. You can write it this way if you want, but you don't have to. You can just think it that way and get negative 10. So how about negative 7 subtract negative 3? That would be negative 7. Instead of subtracting negative 3, I'm going to add its opposite, positive 3. Now, negative 7 plus positive 3, that will be negative 4. Moving on down to our next problem here, problem number 3. We're going to use the multiplication before addition. I have multiplication here and addition here, so I want to multiply first. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 plus 2. And then adding negative 12 and positive 2, I end up with negative 10. So remember, according to the rule for order of operation, we multiply before we add. Here's our next one. In parentheses, I have negative 4 subtract 6. And then I want to, after I've simplified that, I'll multiply by 5. And after that is done, then I'll subtract what I get from 2. So let's go to the innermost parentheses first, according to the rule for order of operation, and simplify that. Negative 4 subtract 6. Remember, we want to think in terms of addition. Negative 4 plus negative 6 is negative 10. Now I have a choice here. I'm going to multiply 5 times negative 10, and here I have subtraction. I can take the subtraction sign with the 5 when I multiply, or I can leave it right here. Let's leave it for a second. And now I have 5 times negative 10, which is negative 50. And then 2 subtract negative 50 is 2 plus 50, which will be simply 52. Now, if I had taken the negative sign or the subtraction sign with the 5 when I multiplied, it would be negative 5 times negative 10. That would give me positive 50. So I would have 2 plus a positive 50. I'd still get 52. So you can take the negative sign or, or the subtraction sign with the 5 when you multiply because subtraction is addition of the opposite. Here's another problem. Here I have some exponents. The rule for order of operation tells me I want to simplify the exponents first. I'll do that. 2 times negative 3 squared will be positive 9. Subtract 4 times negative 2 to the third power will be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, which will be negative 8. Now I have multiplication here and here. I'll multiply before I subtract. 2 times 9 is 18. Subtract <coughs> 4 times negative 8, negative 32. Now that's 18 plus 32, which will be what? 60? 50. Thank you. Is that right? 32 plus 18, 32, 42, 50. Yeah, 50. So here again, the rule for order of operation tells us that we want to simplify these exponents first and then continue with our rule for order of operation. The next problem involves some variables. I'm going to have to remove these parentheses by applying the distributive property. 5 times 3y is 15y, plus 5 times 1 is 5. Now here I have subtract this quantity. What I think I'll do is think of this as adding a negative 1 times this quantity. So now when I multiply, I'm going to take the, the subtraction sign with the 1 because I'm thinking that subtraction is addition of the opposite. So negative 1 times 8y minus 8y, negative 1 times negative 5, positive 5. Now, there's other ways to, to simplify this part right here, but this is the most direct way. And it's legal, too, because we're thinking of subtraction as addition of the opposite. Now, 15y plus negative 8y, that will be 7y. And then 5 plus 5 is 10. So I add similar terms, similar terms being terms with the same variable parts. I'm using the distributive property even if I'm not showing it. 15y plus negative 8y turns out to be 7y, and then 5 plus 5 is 10. So this expression right here simplifies down to simply 7y plus 10.